Hey guys, so something pretty crazy happened on March 25th. It was my birthday. <laughs> okay, so something else happened too. The American Atheist had to go to the bank to get something notarized. And normally they've gone to this bank before, they haven't had any problems, they had to have the notary sign off on some charitable organization forms. But something was different. Not on this day, they had a problem. The notary looked at the documents that they had, she reviewed them, and decided that she was morally opposed. They even explained their educational mission, their advocacy for the separation of church and state, and their plans for the upcoming convention in April, and she said that her refusal was not business related and that she was allowed to refuse for personal reasons. Luckily for them, there was another notary there on lunch break that came to do the job. Whenever he was questioned about her refusal, he said, she's allowed to refuse on personal reasons. If you're unhappy, that's why there are so many banks to go to. If they had been denied because they were Jews or a Muslim, this lady would have been fired and thrown out, but that's obviously not the case. And what's even better is that later on when they were confronted with it, they denied that they even did it. They said that it was simply a misunderstanding. Our employee did not understand how to process this particular paperwork and needed help that unfortunately led to a miscommunication. I mean, of all things, the only thing a notary is there for is to make sure that the person who's supposed to be signing the document is actually the person signing the document. All they have to do is check an ID. Now, they're allowed to refuse if they think the document was forged or tampered with or part of some sort of illegal operation, but they're not supposed to be able to refuse about having anything to do with personally disagreeing with the contents of the document. I mean, imagine if the same thing happened in a rural area where there was only one notary and maybe you needed something for a court date coming up really soon. If you need it done that day and they were just opposed to you being an atheist, you'd be totally screwed. And the fact that someone felt offended by just the title atheist just blows my mind. And this isn't even the first time that it's happened. The president of the American Atheist, David Silverman, actually dealt with this back in August when he got a new car and wanted to get the custom license plate that said atheist on it. He got a rejection letter telling him that his request had been denied. When he sought to clarify the notice's claim that the license plate request was objectionable, an employee told him that a plate reading atheist would be considered offensive. Now he fought this and obviously they had to give in, but could you imagine if they had the same kind of reaction if it said like Jewish or Baptist or Exgen on it? I mean, could you imagine going somewhere and then being like, I find it offensive that you want Islam or Muslim as your license plate? That shit would never happen! I just can't wrap my mind around how these people have such a big problem with someone saying, I don't believe in God, but they have no issue at all with someone saying, I do believe in God, and if you don't, I think that you're going to burn in eternal hellfire forever and ever in torture and pain and misery, and you deserve it! How does that make any sense? Like, the recurrent theme of non-belief as offensive is ridiculous. I mean, it's bad enough that this had to happen to begin with, but it's so much worse to try to cover it up and pretend like it was just a misunderstanding. I mean, you're a notary saying, well, I don't get it. Makes no sense because all you have to do is look at the paper and be like, well, this is your ID and this is your face. Makes sense. Let me watch you sign a paper. How is that confusing? It's kind of the same process for every document that's notarized. It's not like it's, well, this is an atheist one. I just don't get it because it says atheist. Now everything that I've learned is confusing suddenly. It's like they know it's not okay but there's just something inside of them that just still feels justified in doing it. So I'm sure that you guys have experienced this on more than one occasion, I know that I have, so let me know all of your experiences of discrimination against you because of your non-belief in the comments section below. So earlier in this video, I actually mentioned the American Atheist Convention. I'm going to be there, I wanted to remind you about it one more time. I actually made an entire video promoting it, but if you haven't seen it, I'll have a link here, so make sure to click it, check it out. I hope to see all of you guys there. And one more thing that you could meet me at if you want to, is the Unbelievers Tour. It's on the 2nd in San Diego and on the 3rd in Vegas. I'm going to be there with Richard Dawkins and Lawrence Krauss, so I'm really excited. Tickets are really cheap, so if you're near the area, I really hope you guys can make it. I'll leave a link to all of that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Also, all of my social media links are in the description, so click on everything. I hope to see you guys there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. There's no God, he doesn't exist, so don't try to save me, use your fucking brain and leave us all alone. Subscribe. <laughs>